Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ryan, aka Deathly Fruit Loose. We filmed some of the behind the scenes stuff, which isn't really behind the scenes, it's more uh, pre production, pre filming stuff. We just wanted to test some things, mainly bullet effects. So, what we did first was we just wanted, to, we got a wooden board and we got uh, saran wrap. And we put fake blood on the saran wrap, we wrapped it up, and we taped it to this board. Now, after that, what we did was uh, we just set it down, put a firecracker under it, you know, assuming that it would break through the saran wrap and the blood would go splurting everywhere. The first thing that we realized about the firework was that uh, it's going to throw that blood really quickly. It's going to just bam, and all that blood is just going to splot, you know, fly everywhere uh, really quickly. So we tried doing it in slow mo. So here was our first test. Now obviously you can see um, not much really happened. We did a couple more tests. We actually got it down. The main purpose of that test was just to see if we can get the blood to uh, go in a certain direction and if we can get a lot of the blood to go. As you can see in that first one, barely any blood actually left. The, the black cat really did not break through the saran wrap like uh, we had expected it to. We got it kind of down to a science and then we uh, used it how it was supposed to be used. Um, on a person. The very first real test one was we, we did the same idea. We used the plywood to protect me, obviously. Um, so there's this big thing of plywood sticking out and it's all nasty and ugly. Uh, and then we just, you know, put the. Oh, we, we actually went over to plastic bags. Apparently, plastic bags are easier to break through with a black cat, you know, rather than saran wrap. You know, who knew? Anyway, so then we put the plastic bag on the plywood and the plywood under my shirt. And then, uh, you know, we lit it. <clears throat> it's just a little bit frightening being the guinea pig when it deals with a firework strapped to your chest. The second test, we used two uh, circular discs, the plates that you usually see at like a rocket, like a little tiny rocket launch. Um, there's the rocket stand and at the bottom there's usually a plate. Obviously that plate can withstand a lot of you know, heat and uh, damage from the rocket engines. So we thought you know, it would be a good idea. Joe had two of them. Uh, we uh, separated them so the holes in the middle were covered by one of the plates. Yeah, so my life was in Joe's hands, which that's a pretty scary thought. Um, because if you know Joe, he kills things. Then we put a piece of really thick cardboard on the back to act as a shock absorber because actually with that plywood you can really feel the firecracker, you know, banging against your chest. It didn't really hurt, but with those metal discs I, I really wanted to play it safe. Uh, so the second test was actually, it was very successful. It looked great, the blood, it, it, everything was great. Um, obviously the only problem is the smoke. The splatter was great, it was... Uh, actually slower than we expected. If you look really closely, you can see a little bit of uh, bloody mist, I guess you could say. Anyway, well, like I said, thank you guys. Uh, go ahead, check out the other blind size stuff. All your support is appreciated. Um, thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.